and education is set aside, and military recruitment is rampant in the schools, the high schools, where they have 100% access to young people, and even in the middle schools, where they are being indoctrinated at a young age to believe that they got to march off and fight for the freedoms that we have, when in reality we have no freedoms. We don't. We have lived a myth forever that this is a country where we can do right, obey the law, and reach the American dream. What is the American dream? The way this government is constructed, the American dream for those who run it is that labor in this country will be outsourced. And it'll get to a point to where, if you want to argue about pay, and I think of the General Motors debacle, where people were saying that the people make too much money to make the cars, the unions are destroying them. When in reality, what is happening, the jobs are being outsourced and people want America to drop their level of wages to those throughout the world where they're paying people slave wages. That's what we got to realize that's going on, and that's what we got to stand up to. Stand up to the power that is keeping us down. For too long, this government has had its foot on our neck, and we don't even understand it. Some of us become so involved in believing <coughs> that things will get better if we just get that right person in power that we become a part of that which oppresses us without even realizing it. And I think that was the words of Stephen Biko, who said, the greatest weapon in the arsenal of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. So for too long, we've been in that arsenal. And it's time that we break out and take this country back, because that is the only way that we will get changed. to the school board meetings and see two or three people there that are arguing about what the military is doing to the young people in the schools. Or when they put advertisement for the military on the scoreboard clock in the gyms or out on the football field or everywhere you go, you see the military recruiters are there. It bothers me that parents are not realizing what is really happening but instead, many are saying it's good that they go because they need discipline. Discipline should start at home, not in the military, because that's not the problem. <laughs> it took me a long time to get to the point where I am now. When I first came back from Vietnam, I was completely shut down. I couldn't think. I couldn't function. And people like Howard Zinn and Daniel Ellsberg are the ones that woke me up to the reality of what was going on. And I think we all need to be shaken to wake up. When I think of what's happening now with this two-party system and don't see any other party coming forward at what I believe is an opportune time for someone else to get in power, they're not there. The Greens wait because they feel it's better to get in later instead of organizing and making a movement now because I think people throughout this country are ready for someone else other than a Democrat or a Republican. So we can stop telling ourselves that we are the change we need. I think if we think in the terms of the great chief to Comstock, who said, a twig will break, but a bundle is strong. We're still twigs here because we can't get enough people together and do what needs to be done to get what everyone deserves. And that is a right to self-determination, not just for Americans, but for people throughout the world. So 
So it is we who allow this government to go out into different corners of this world and take advantage of people either for resources or cheap labor. It is we who allow that. So I think we should stop holding the elected officials totally responsible and begin to hold some of the responsibility for ourselves. Because I think most of us know that the change that has come in this country have not come from the politicians. It came from grassroots. So it's time for us to plant the seeds and start growing the grass to get the numbers that we will need to make the change that we are seeking. Thank you.